Face Phoenix. And we're going to talk about alternate histories that could have happened in some strange, strange reality. We're going to talk about what if Tupac was president. The reason we're going to bring this one up, <laughs> if I can get through this video, is that a friend of mine one time when we were hanging at work, she was like, you know what? Tupac was going to do something great. And I'm like, yeah, right, whatever, motherfucker. He's a rapper. She's like, you know what he's going to be? He's probably going to be like, you know, president or something. President. I didn't get this right. She truly believed that Tupac Shakur could have been president of the fucking United States of America. United States. Now, I could give you multiple reasons why this would never happen, besides the fact that he was a convicted felon, which eliminates you right there. Secondly, that, you know, we as black people only make 12% of the population. I really don't think Tupac's that popular with everybody else, so kind of don't think that was going to go over well. But I just thought to myself, could you imagine if Tupac would have got elected? How crazy that shit would have been? How fucking insane people would have been acting? How certain events in life would have been totally different? Because I was thinking about, thinking about when that cop and the guy he beat up, who was a professor, had the um, the beer summit. Could you imagine the 40 ounce summit with Tupac there? Could you imagine Tupac? Who would be his vice president? Should night? I mean, that would have been like a gruesome twosome for presidency, man. Because like when she said Tupac, I kept thinking to myself, of all the black people in existence who are alive or dead, you picked Tupac? You thought Tupac could have been president? I might like, shit. I would vote for Russell Simmons. Hell yeah. LL Cool J. Yeah. But I'm like, there's plenty of other people. Bill Cosby? Yeah, he picks Tupac. Two fucking Pac Shakur. So let's go down to some other events that would have been even, even funnier. If you ever remember back when Obama got elected, somebody says, and when he was doing like the State of the Union address, they said, You lied. Could you imagine if that would have been Tupac? What Tupac would have done? Could you imagine Tupac leaving the podium, running down that aisle, and beating the shit out of that dude for saying that crap? Because you know a real thug would have done that. And that shit would be hilarious. That would be like the greatest moment in American history to me. To have somebody say some shit like, you know what? You lied! Then to have Tupac go, what the fuck? Who the fuck said that? Oh, I got your ass. Leave that podium, run down them, stay on that, that aisle, get down there and just lay the most passionate ass whooping you've ever seen. That shit would have been great. Do I think he would have been able to bounce the economy? Fuck no. Do I think he would have been able to stop the war in Iraq? Hell no. But I still think the shit would have been funny. And it's even funnier that some people actually believe that kind of stuff. Like, you no, know, Tupac was going to be the next new black leader. I'm like, the new black leader. Why do we think we need a new black leader? Like, we had, like, we, like all the black people are going to come together one day. We're going to select one guy that leads us around. It's never happened. There's never been a black leader. As much as people like to believe that, there's never been one man who spoke for black people, period. Even when people say MLK. MLK was around the same time as Malcolm X. So guess what? There was never one single dude to do that. And if like I say, if there was one single dude to do it, it shouldn't be Tupac. Tupac was a poet. He was a rapper. He was very good at it. He was very passionate at it. And I think he was a very talented man. But like I said, sometimes people get delusions. Some people get kind of crazy. They start thinking things that they wouldn't possibly happen. And they need to know it would never possibly happen. So I said, next time you say, so like next time I hear somebody say, you know, what would happen if Tupac was live? If Tupac was live, he'd still be recording music. If the, at the most, I thought he would have done in the political world, he might have got made, he might have made mayor. Councilman, I'll even go as far as saying he might be a congressman. But to be president of the United States of America, that's a big fuck nah. That's not going to happen. It's not. I can't imagine white people at the polls going, hmm, we can pick between Tupac Shakur or John McKay. It would be crazy if we voted for Tupac, wouldn't it, honey? Yeah. Well, we're not going to do that shit. We're voting for McCain. That's our only hope. But that shit, that's never going to happen. And as I said, it was just really so bizarre that this woman thought this was an idea that might have possibly occurred. I laughed at it. I laughed at it for a while. I still laugh about it now. And I think a lot of you going to laugh at it at home. And for all the Tupac fans out there, I know some of you guys are going to kind of say, Fuck you, dude! 
Tupac would have been there, man. Tupac could have done it. No. Because, A, he would have been eliminated because of the age thing. He would have been eliminated secondly because he is a felon. And if you're a felon, guess what? You can't hold the office of president. So I said, dude, just give it up. He was a rapper. He was a great poet. He was a decent guy. And that's it. Stop trying to have these high fantasies of what he would have been. So the most he would have been would have been a political force in his area of the world, which is Oakland. That's about as far as it would have went. So I said, I just want to give you that big laugh I had from that because it was hilarious when I heard it for the first time. Take care of yourselves, guys. Peace out.